I'm doing a six piece entertainment center that consists of uh, the center, a cabinet, left and right base, and a left and right tower, and a bridge that connects the two towers. As you can see here, I'm sort of kind of stepping in the middle of this. Uh, if you look to the far end of my workbench, uh, I've already started or basically completed the carcass of the uh, center uh, cabinet and now using uh, pocket hole uh, joinery I'm doing the towers and I started doing the towers you know instead of using solid plywood I thought it would be a savings if I would uh, just use some frame um, style and rail framing uh, to create the towers but spending so much time on this cutting uh, drilling pocket holes screwing uh, it wasn't really worth the uh, effort but since I have already gotten into it I just continued but uh, it would have been much faster if I just used solid uh, three quarter inch plywood but uh, you can kind of watch this and, and learn from my experience and so if you ever think about trying to save some materials and, and doing it a style and rail format uh, you might want to think twice about that but uh, you, know, you know you learn and you, and you move on so in the future uh, I'll stick with the solid three quarter inch plywood Laying flat on the workbench is actually the sides of the tower and now you see I'm putting in the top frame and eventually I'll be putting the bottom frame uh, to the towers to make a basically a, a wooden hollow box. What I didn't capture here, and you probably see it here, is that uh, you can see the entire box. I'm using some MDF, which have already been uh, pre-primed with a shellac-type primer. You know, can I use water um, paint or water primer on MDF? And I'm just tacking it down with uh, some a staple nailer. This MDF goes on the uh, sides and also the top and bottom. Now I'm doing the face framing, uh, the rails and styles uh, using just regular bread nailer here. And of course glue. I always use glue. I don't, I don't care what it's called for. It's either going to be glue and pocket holes uh, screws or it's going to be glue and nailer, bread nailer. And here I'm just doing some edge banding on the uh, ends of the plywood to the base cabinet, the center base cabinet. And I'll come back and trim it with an X-Acto knife, but eventually I'll come back and sand it down and get it uh, nice and even with the uh, face of the plywood.
Now I'm using my router table. What I'm going to add to this project is I'm going to add some bead molding detail and I'm just kind of going through this with my uh, router to cut my um, bead molding patterns. Now using a table saw, I'm actually trimming off the uh, bee molding off the stock material. And just for example, if you buy bee molding, if you get a six foot, eight foot section, you're probably paying somewhere in, a, in the order of six to maybe $12 um, for that piece. Here, I'm practically making this using some stock pine for um, probably about 50 cents. Uh, on every eight foot section so you know it's more economical to make your own uh, molding if you can and here I'm just applying the bead molding to the perimeter of my cabinet and what you're looking at are the two uh, the left and right hand bases base cabinets to the towers which sit on top of them Thank you.